Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette and our series, Is It Worth It? Today, we discuss the puffy down jackets from Montclair and determine if they're worth your money or not. Montclair is pronounced that way because it's derived from the name of a town, Monestier de Clermont. So it's not Montclair, it's Montclair. If you want to learn how to properly pronounce other luxury brand names, please check out this video here. Montclair has been making puffy jackets since the 1950s and they've been around for a while and they've become quite iconic. The classic versions of the puffy down jackets retail anywhere from $1,100 to $1,500, which is quite an investment. So reason enough to determine whether it's worth it or not. As always, let's start with a history to see if they're worth the price tag. Originally, Montclair was established as a maker of quilted sleeping bags in 1952. Even though they're most well known for their puffy down jackets, they didn't invent them. That honor actually goes to Eddie Bauer, who came up with the idea in 1936. Ever since its inception, Montclair produced down products, but they were more utilitarian and meant for workers who were out on the mountain. Eventually, a French mountaineer by the name of Lionel Terre approached Montclair and asked if they could make jackets for his expeditions. They accepted a challenge, and from that point forward, they were the providers of exhibition gear for many mountaineering groups. For example, in 1954, Montclair outfitted the first crew that successfully climbed the K2. By 1968, Montclair had become so popular and well-known that they were named the official supplier of the French national ski team. With a spotlight on the company, Montclair decided to change their logo from the Mont Aigui to the Cockerel, which is still the Montclair logo today. The iconic Montclair puffy down jacket, as we know it today, came about to be in the 1980s. Young Italian men, dubbed the Paninari, started wearing workwear such as the brightly colored puffy jackets for Montclair, as well as Timberland boots, as part of their subculture. Montclair responded to that trend by adding a shiny finish to their jackets, as well as fur trimming. In 2003, Montclair was purchased by the Italian entrepreneur Remo Ruffini and he moved their headquarters to Milan, where it remains today. Under the new direction, Montclair decided to focus more on the fashion side of things rather than the expedition-based quality segment. Because of that, they came up with the Gamme Rouge collection. At around the same time, Giambattista Valli started designing for Montclair. Today, Montclair is truly a fashion brand that prices their products in the luxury range. Because of that, Montclair jackets are no longer target to sporty outdoorsmen or expeditioners. Instead, they show up at Fashion Week and that's their realm now. Interestingly, they claim that they still focus on expedition gear. For some reason though, it's not for sale. Nevertheless, Montclair puffy down jackets have become a true status symbol for many out there and as a consequence, they're faked a lot. So obviously, Montclair has some history to it, even though they're now more focused on the fashion side of things. So let's look at the jacket. We bought two of their more iconic styles, which are short and hip length, puffy with a shiny satiny finish. One is red, the other one is blue, which also happen to be their brand colors. With the finish and the colors, Montclair is intentionally bold in an area where usually navy and black solid dominate the landscape. Montclair jackets are known for their down filling, which is very puffy and very insulating and warm. On their website, they claim to have a superior expertise in the down realm. All of the down fitters used in their jackets are DIST certified. That's a protocol that claims to trace traceability, quality, and origin of the down. Interestingly, the trademark DIST is actually owned by Montclair, so it's not an independent agency, but it's their own quality control seal. Therefore, the quality claims of the down is actually certified by a subsidiary of Montclair and not by an outside third party. Before we go further down the rabbit hole of down quality, let's take a step back and discuss what down actually is. Those are bird feathers that are very small and fine and flexible and because of that, when put together, they create air chambers which insulate both ways. On the one hand, they insulate from the cold air from the outside. On the other hand, they preserve the body heat, which is very favorable for animals. Normally, 
goose downs are the most widely known quality down feathers. There are others such as waterfowl, but they're usually not commercially used because even better, they're more expensive. Also, the highest quality down feathers from geese have to be plucked from live animals. Later pluckings are better because the down feathers are even finer than the earlier ones and therefore they insulate even more. However, plucking the down feathers from live geese means they suffer from extreme pain and stress, which is just animal cruelty. If you follow our channels, you know that we always look for the utmost in quality. However, in this case, we would argue that you should protect the animals and go with down feathers that are plucked from dead geese because they're still very warm and very functional and you are just not treating animals in a cruel way. Now let's go back to Montclair. They claim to use superior downs, yet they use surprisingly few numbers to back those claims up. They claim that their down cluster content is at least 90% with 10% being other feathers. Now, the higher the pure down content, the more insulating the jacket and the higher the quality the jacket will be. To measure the quality of different down jacket compositions, there's something called the fill power. Fill power means as much as the volume occupied by the down feathers. A down jacket with a higher fill power takes up more space, meaning more air is trapped, and therefore the jacket is more insulating. Essentially, it means that you get more warmth while maintaining the same weight. The fill power of a Montclair down jacket is 710, which means it takes up 710 cubic inches for 30 grams of down, which is about one ounce. Regular feathers have a fill power of only 300, versus the best quality down have a fill power of 900. Like I said, using waterfowl down would even enable you to get higher fill power numbers, but it is not worth it commercially. So at the end of the day, 710 is a good fill number, especially if you consider that the down is supposedly plucked only from dead animals. Next up, let's talk about the shell, which is one of the iconic things of Montclair. It's a very dense nylon that is extremely lightweight and only weighs in at 33 grams per square meter. It's also woven in a very fine way so you don't end up with feathers or down poking through the shell. This high density lacquered nylon that is shiny is something that is pretty unique to Montclair and not many other brands use it. So if you like it, it's a strong reason to invest in a Montclair jacket. If you look at the finishings of the jacket, such as the snap buttons, the zippers, and all the metal parts, I'm not too impressed. They seem to be made out of Zamek, which is an alloy out of zinc, aluminum, magnesium, and copper. While really popular in the industry, it's really inexpensive, and solid brass is, in my opinion, a lot better. If you look at the zipper, it's injection molded plastic, and the zipper pulley is Zamek again, but overall, a zipper out of the highest quality materials would be machined out of metal with metal teeth, would be a lot smoother, and would be higher in quality. Overall, I think the trimmings don't feel cheap, but they're definitely not the highest quality, they're more average. I have to say though, the construction of the jacket is really neat, the seams are all straight, there are no loose threads, no down poking through, and it appears to be a quality product right out of the box. It also comes with elastic inserts, cuffs that can be tightened, as well as adjusters at the bottom, so you can ensure no cold wind comes in. Next up, let's talk about the fit. It's quite boxy and simple, and it makes you look like a Michelin man. Their sizing is quite strange. They use a numbering system, and the jacket I'm wearing here is size five. Even though that corresponds an extra, extra large, I would say it's more like a large to extra large in other brands. So if you want a Montclair jacket, size up. Even though the size is larger in their lineup, the sleeves are quite short, which is something I don't like because that's where you end up with a cold air. Because Montclair jackets are so expensive, they're faked all over the place. And in order to verify that you have a genuine product, Montclair jackets have a barcode on the inside jacket. You can simply scan it with a scanner app, which gets you to a website and once you sign up, It'll tell you what name the jacket should be and what style. And if it's a different style, you know it was copied and it's a fake. Or if the number is wrong, it will just tell you to get in touch with support and you know it's wrong or fake as well. From 2008 to 2012, the verification logo looked like this. From 2013 to 2015, it was slightly different. 
And from 2016 to the present, it looks like that. If you spend so much money on a jacket, you can at least verify if it's a true deal or not. So with a company with its origins in France that moved to Italy, where are the jackets made? According to the label, they're made in Romania, which is definitely one of the lowest cost production countries in Europe with a GDP of under $10,000 per capita. In terms of weight, it doesn't tell you exactly how heavy it is, but our jackets are really lightweight. Just take a look. So if they're lightweight, do they keep you warm? Yes, absolutely. As we learned before, with a fill power where air is trapped, it definitely keeps you warm. I'm sweating here right now in the studio and outside keeps me warm even though there's a cold wind. What about the maintenance? I haven't washed mine yet, but the instructions seem pretty clear. It's made to be washed, but I could see how eventually the very thin nylon shell will suffer and get destroyed simply because it's nylon it's not Kevlar or something like that, and it's just so thin. All right, so the big questions. Is a Montclair puffy down jacket worth it? Well, I think undeniably for a puffy down jacket, they have very special features such as a shiny finish, they have a good fill power, use quality down, and you don't end up with a cheap product. The finishes are nice, the trimmings are just average, but personally, my big issue is the value. You're paying a lot of money for something that you can get for less from other companies, at least in terms of functionality. If you buy a Montclair jacket, you definitely pay more for the brand. So what are your alternatives? For example, North Face has a jacket with a 700 fill power and a nylon shell that is slightly heavier at 54 grams a square meter versus 33 grams of Montclair, but it only retails for 249. On the other hand, Patagonia's Fitzroy jacket has an 800 fill power and a lifetime guarantee and costs about $450. So is it worth it if you buy primarily for the performance? I would say no. Why? You can find many other brands with either the same or a higher fill power for a lower cost and their down is certified by third parties, not by themselves. So you can trust a little more into what you're getting. On the other hand, if you buy primarily for the status, the style, the loud colors and the shiny finish, and you like to be fashion forward and you don't mind the price tag, then yes, by all means, invest in a Montclair jacket. Like I said, other brands rarely do that satin finish. If that's what you like, go for it. In my personal opinion, it's not worth it because I simply don't see the value. I'm also not a big fan of the shiny finish. And at the end of the day, it still makes me look like a Michelin man, which is not very flattering at all. If you want to be stylish, instead invest in an overcoat. For about the same price, you can almost go custom. You can get something that's really warm and looks a lot better than a Montclair jacket does. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out our other videos in the Is It Worth It series where we look at things like the Gucci loafer or a Burberry trench coat and decide whether they're worth it or not. And in today's video, I'm obviously wearing a Montclair puffy down jacket with a hood. It's red and it retailed for $1,175. I'm pairing it with a pair of jeans and a pair of Chelsea boots in dark brown with a blue insert. Overall, it's kind of the look that people who buy this jacket usually have. Maybe they'll invest into luxury sneakers, but I don't have those, so I can't wear them for the video.